many of you have ever stayed up late to the night, sleep texting, or Snapchatting on one of these? Pretty much everybody. Okay, well did you know that this was actually what was keeping you awake the entire time? In fact, the light from your phone was, was what was keeping you awake. In fact, lights and this and computers all emit blue light. And blue light has been shown to be detrimental to human physical and mental health. And I know that a lot of us have owned these sorts of devices for such, for such a large amount of time, and we use them every day, so we don't associate their effects with them. So today I'm going to go over what blue light is, what the effects are, and how you can protect yourself from it if you so cheap. So first off, what is blue light? Well, blue light is, let me move, is this little spectrum right here on this visible light scale. It's very rare in nature. Most of the time you're going to find light that is more yellow into the red, like the sun or a lightning bug is not going to be blue, um, for instance. So what's the problem with blue light? Well, a study by the National Center for Biotechnology Information and another study by Harvard University have found several things. And first of these is that blue light affects melatonin secretion. And before I go into what melatonin is and what it's used for, we're going to talk about how much it blocks. So, <laughs> don't get confused by the top graph, but if you just look at the bottom graph, the higher this line goes is the more melatonin is being blocked by the light. And as you can see, this line peaks in the blue light section. Not to say that it's not happening in the others, it just is worse in blue light. Now, what's the problem with this? Well, melatonin is important for your circadian rhythm, which is your sleep-wake cycle. And when your sleep-wake cycle is altered, so will your quality of sleep, basically. So you may suffer from sleep disorders such as insomnia or sleep deprivation. Now, another thing melatonin is used for is your blood sugar regulation. And what will happen is your blood sugar can fluctuate too low, too high, or bounce in between, making it very difficult, especially for diabetes, to control the blood sugar. Now, there, these aren't the only effects, though. Blue light has been found to mess with your memory, your ability to learn, such as now, may, may make it hard to pay attention to me. Um, again, deregulate sleep, can increase your risk for depression, increase your risk for obesity and cancer, as well as they found links to cataracts and retinal damage, which can affect your vision permanently. Now, what can you do to protect yourself from this blue light? Well, one of your first options is to quite simply spend less time on these devices. But this is hard. Right now I'm using one, two, three of these just to give this speech. So I know that can be hard. So studies have said, well, whenever you want better sleep, spend about two to three hours off of these devices before you go to sleep. Or at least 30 minutes before you go to sleep. Now, again, that can be hard. So your other option is to invest maybe in blue up blocking glasses, a blue up blocking screen, or monitors or bulbs like for this projector that emit less blue light and more yellow light. Now, another option, and probably the, the other easiest option, is most phones, such as iPhones, and some computers have an option called night shift mode, which what night shift mode does is it quite simply increases that amount of yellow light I showed you earlier and decreases the amount of blue light. And so that is probably another option. Not to say these are your only options, these are just some. So with that, I hope you've been informed on what blue light is, what the effects are, and how you can protect yourself from it.